I have teamed up with Speedcube Shop to do a giveaway every couple of weeks for this entire year. All you have to do to enter, follow this channel, Speedcube View, and follow Speedcube Shop's YouTube channel as well with a link in the description. Leave a comment below in this video of anything cubing related or just tell me how your day's going. And somewhere in this video, you will find a code. That's gonna be the key for the giveaway. When you see the code, go to speedcubeview.com and on the homepage, you just enter the code as well as your contact information so I can contact you if you win. A random winner will get picked at the end of the two weeks and then a new giveaway will begin. If you do shop at Speedcube Shop, use discount code SCR to save yourself money at checkout, but also the more people that use that code and the more giveaways we can do. Good luck. Hey, Sean here from speedcubeview.com. Rocking a new shirt from Speedcube Shop. Got embroidery. I don't actually get too many shirts that have embroidery on it. So this is, this is really nice. Okay, to the video. I pride myself in knowing puzzles. So back when I really got into it, there was the way long and the owl long and then the owl long version two. And then there was the way long GTS and the GTS version two and the WRM and stuff like that. It was fairly easy to keep track of and every new iteration usually changed something if not upgraded something, whether it was making it sort of corner twisted less or added ridges or just performed a little bit better. That's not the case right now. It might be that we're going to get over this hump and we are going to get a bunch of new crazy stuff that's much better, but we're kind of just circling at the moment. And so we're getting puzzles that might not be better, they're just different. Some companies are doing that within themselves, like the RS3. Now, if you have never tried an RS3 and you have eight bucks to spend, go get an RS3 2020, they're great. They perform well. However, there are multiple models of the same puzzle out right now. I have here the RS3M, this is a 2020, but it's UV coated because we're gonna go to some high-end RS3 puzzles this one that's a UV coated a little bit more, about $18. I wrote the price on that. These prices may change, they're gonna fluctuate, but if you use discount code SCR, you can save at checkout. Then we have the Super RS3, similar packaging. This one has a ball core, no UV coating available. This one, about $20. The newest one that has come out is the RS3M version five. This has a ball core and UV coating about $25. And then we have the Super RS3 version two, UV coated, ball core, and I didn't write it down, but about $48. So these two seem near identical on paper, but almost double in price. Packaging definitely looks nice with this one. We are gonna open these up. Now, none of these have I used yet. These are out of the box meaning we're gonna see if they're lubricated, how they're tensioned out of the box. I do have some jack-o'-lanterns still left, so I'll definitely be using those to set some things up, but I got these new out of the box. Some of these were sent from Moryu, some of these from Speedcube Shop. So thank you, Speedcube Shop, for sending these out. Okay, so first thing, let's just check out the 2020 with UV coating. We have the box that has a stand inside of it if you want it to stand at like a 45 degree angle. Very nice and shiny, very grippy, stable. Tensions, to my liking, although fairly tight for out of the box. And the tension system, adjustable um, compression and springs, no maglev in this. Next, the Super 2020. One, no, not 2021, this is just the Super. There is the 2021 out, but there's not really anything super special compared to other ones. Okay, so this is the Super. This has the magnetic core. I can't really get it, there we go. Gold internals. This is before they switched to the teal. Actually feels a bit lighter and looser. I'll get the scale out in just a moment. But tension's similar. It seems to corner cut a little bit farther. I'm not a big advocate on corner cutting mattering at all at this point in cubing, but it is what it is. Um, you can see the centers are a little more rounded there. Let's do, let's do the Super. I have not even really tried the version five with all this fun stuff. So we'll do the Super. Nah, we'll go in price order. Ugh, well, rip the box. This one comes with the little guy. 
They can stand up or sit down. You can stack them also on top of each other. Center cap's a little bit different again. We have the turquoise internals. This is even tighter than the other ones, but circular center. Yeah, quite tight tensions out of the box, which I like. Very, very fast feeling though. Yeah, wow. I didn't do first turns on the other ones. Very fast feeling. A little bit heavier. Somewhere in the middle. Okay, the nicest box for sure with the Super version 2. These two are the same box. This one has sort of a carrying case box. Very, very loose out of the box. I would say that's too loose out of the box. Very fast turning, glossy, just like this one, just like this one, not like this one. 85.2, 87.4, Lightest is the version 5, then we have the Super version 2, and then these two are very close with the Super Version 1 being the heaviest. Um, as far as piece design, they all have the split design except for the Super Version 2 that has a cap design that makes that slightly, slightly smoother. Honestly, I don't think it's really anything that is noticeable. Okay, at the moment, just without the UV coating, this feels like the regular 2020. It feels budget. Um, I've never liked matte coating very much anyways, so already the RS3 2020 with the UV coating feels much more premium. These are much quieter. Compared to this one, so these feel a bit, sound a bit more premium. What I need to do is make them all the same tension because at the moment they're so different that I don't even feel like I can compare them very well. So let's get out the screwdriver and I'm just gonna make them all to where I can just barely see the edge of that foot. Oh, I forgot to say these are all maglev as well. I'm going to make, actually let's do that too. All of the blue, Tensions, I'm going to just set to four just to change it up a little bit from what it is out of the box. But if you didn't know, none of these have adjustable magnets and they all have the exact same tension system. So you're not paying any different for that. Okay, I'm gonna do some solves. Yeah, just hand scramble. Blue cross is nice, but I feel like I'm going to go slow with that. This is too fast. Oh, geez. Yeah, too fast. Okay. So the 2020, definitely need lubrication right now to slow it down. I could tighten the springs a bit more. Whoops, did a roux. <laughs> Solves are wacky. Well, anyways. The uh, Super was a bit slower out of the box, and I could control it without any lubrication. A bit more flexible. 
do the Super version 2. I go back to the 2020 after this because all of these feel much more controllable out of the box than the 2020. Is the 2020 the fastest out of the box? When they're the same tensions, because this was insanely loose. That was not good. Okay. Yeah. The 2020 is fastest out of the box. It is, I did not expect that. I initially thought it was slow. It was going to be slower, especially when I tried all of them on the crazy loose tensions that some of them are on. But now that I've adjusted some of the springs and compressed them, this is for sure faster. I mean, it might be that these are springs, but usually the springs are end up being tighter anyways. That's wild. Let's let's compare the pieces. Probably should have done that first. Let's do that right now. Are they similar enough where they could even just swap? Oh, I had this issue before. Caps come off super easily on the RS3 version 2. Like, I was taking pieces out, so obviously they're going to, you know, I'm pinching the pieces in a weird way. But I have, in the one that I have used normally, I've had them just, the, the caps, just fall off while solving. And I have been so frustrated with it, I've just had to basically say I'm going to not use it at all. Okay, let's look at the pieces real quick. We have, um, they're all near identical as far as the way they're shaped. The 2020 has some tracks here. The Super Version 1 has this sort of fish uh, scale look. Same thing with the Version 5. And then the Super Version 2 is closer to the 2020. Super Version 2 has magnets in the edges that repel. As far as corners, there's some cutout there. And the version 5 has like a separate track here, while the other one... I mean, there's still like two tracks, but this is like a third one that sticks up there. And that's the same with pretty much all the rest. Now, the 2020 has a hole there, as if you would add a magnet. So maybe the piece design is the same. But the pieces, I mean, if I just put this one in here, it still fits. It still works the same. So pieces are near identical in all the shapes, in all the versions. Now I am surprised that the 2020 is faster. I'm just going to tighten the compression, see if that changes and possibly since the first time Moy started using Maglev and other companies, they've adjusted the strength and made the magnet stronger. Put them to eight. No, just as fast. That is wild. Yeah, this is just more controllable. Okay, thoughts. Um, if you want an RS3 feel, pay eight bucks, get the 2020, you're good. Super RS3, I would say not that important at that point. Um, the performance seems near identical with the ball core and without. If you want something with UV coating, ignore the version 2. It's double the price, at least, with not really any better performance. So it's down to the UV coated RS3 that has magnets, or the version 5. And I would say get the version 5. I didn't test the auto align. That's the 2020. There's no ball core. Here's with the ball core. Not really much difference. Here's with the ball core and the repelling magnets. Kind of there. So there's not that much difference with it. The version 5 feels a bit more premium than the 2020. But that's really the only major difference. At least that I feel. Feels a bit more premium out of the box. Plus you get a little robot. 
Now, let's try it. Let's add a bit of jack-o'-lantern lubrication to see if adding some lubrication will change the feeling to the point where it doesn't really matter which one you get. The version five is definitely more flexible. I don't know if it's the center or I didn't seem like there was much different in the actual piece shape. Yep, this feels a bit more premium. This feels like a top tier puzzle, something that they might even call the WRM. Um, I think the only reason they call it the RS3 is because the piece shape is very similar, but it feels much more premium. They're both really nice. So if you like the original RS3 and like a more stable puzzle, that can work. Um, definitely get lubrication for it. You could make this work without lubrication, but why not get it? Just, just get some. So, if you skipped all the way to the end and you're just coming in now, if you're gonna buy one puzzle, get the RS3M version five. If you get UV coating, ball core, fun case, it's about 25 bucks. Save a little bit with discount code SCR at checkout. Thank you very much for watching. Hit like and subscribe for more context in the future. And this is always step by speed cube review for more news and reviews.